Hey, hey y'all, how y'all doing today? It is me, Big Boy Sports. We have a channel rebrand, uh, you know, trying to update the channel, you know, get everything you know, together, stuff like that. That's not the story of what we're going to talk about here today. Um, so, um, you know, obviously today was the big Army-Navy game. What a spectacle it was. We got uh, we got the um, the okay, uh, or I guess it's so. I guess this is a white power side now, but that's it's totally fine. But Donald Trump appeared. Uh, but um, ultimately, the Army Navy game this year was dominated by Malcolm Berry. Uh, Three hundred plus yards on the ground, a couple touchdowns, the to boots. Navy gets the Commander in Chief's trophy this year. 10 win season, going to the Liberty Bowl, and they just flat out dominated Army. 31 to 7, final score there. You know, uh, really wasn't that competitive of a game, but it, it, I mean, you, you can't, can't take away, you know, what this means for our entire country. What a game. Uh, you know, it's sad for those seniors of Army that didn't get to beat Navy four times in a row. Man, got a feel for those Navy seniors that finally got a victory over Army, and they did it in a big way. So Army season is over, uh, five and eight. Injuries were just riddled the team. In fact, uh, Christian Anderson started the game today for Army. He wasn't really effective aside from that. 10 minute 41 second drive in the first quarter that Army did and just took a lot of time off the clock. It was a it was a beautiful type of drive and, and that was the only momentum Army had because the rest of the way Navy took it all. Um but also um got back into the swing of things in college basketball a little bit. Um Oregon and Michigan that was the game I watched today. What an interesting game that was. Very sluggish, very slow. He had Simpson who led Michigan and, and Mathis who led Oregon. Um, there was just a lot of back and forth in that game. Went to overtime and everything like that. And Oregon got just what they needed, a big three to – I can't remember. But they, got a, they, they, can't, they got a big shot to win the game, and they stopped Michigan at the very end. To win that game it was like 73 72 or something like that again i don't remember the score it was so many hours ago but yeah um, and finally here we'll just um, address the fcs quarterfinals what a bunch what a what a beautiful bunch of games there were lots of defense in all four games, as I'm about to pull them up here, even though I watched them all. <laughs> well, I watched three of them. But, you know. Um, so, uh, first off, we'll talk about James Madison, Northern Iowa. That game was an interesting game in and of itself. Um, not a lot went on. In fact, I don't think Northern Iowa had 100 yards of total offense in that game. James Madison shuts them out. 17 to nothing was not close at all. You know, there was some defense being played in this game, but ultimately the game was not close. Um, the game I did not see, uh, Montana State Austin P Austin P's run sadly comes to an end, and Montana State's moving on to the semifinals. Um Montana Weber State again. This game was played in the snow. Um, also, a highly contested game. Uh, Montana's quarterback threw like four interceptions or five. You know, and it was just a bad, just a bad game for Montana overall. Sad days for um, the Grizzlies. And they lose seventeen to ten. And then finally today, the appetizer before the main entree of Army versus Navy. Notre, oh wow, 
Iowa State, Notre Dame, North Dakota State, Illinois State. What a defensive slugfest this was. I don't think for like three quarters, Illinois State even completed a pass. And, and, but they, um, there was a little bit of ref ball in this game, but ultimately it, Illinois State's offense did not have enough to keep up with North Dakota State. 9-3 to three final score of that game. Um, so now the semifinals. It's going to be one heck of a show that we get for both of these. Um, now that everything's back to normal, uh, I can split screen my laptop and everything like that. We can get this shindig rolling. Um, so I have bowls and FCS um, semifinals stuff going on here on this channel. It's going to be great. It's going to be a great time. So Weber State's taking on James Madison, one of the semifinals. Montana State's going up the Fargo for the other. It is going to be a great, great time. I'm so excited. So with that being said, um, we'll see you youngins in a few minutes here as we get this video uploaded to the channel. And we'll talk about the FCS semifinals and some of the bowl games, baby. Let's go. Y'all take care.